Hey super souls, hello. Look where I am here at the pyramids. And I just wanna share what I did yesterday for you guys. I've actually been sitting here for maybe an hour, um, just in between, there's a pyramid right here and a pyramid here, just sitting here. Um, one, cooling down, and two, and if you're online, would you please say hello? Um, but I wanna share about the healing process yesterday and what I did for you. So please say hello. This is gonna take about maybe half an hour for me to share. And for some of you that are asleep because it's 9.30 in Australia, hey Kelly, nice to see you my darling. Um, enjoy the view and in front is another pyramid. I just wanna, I wrote some notes down from the healing process yesterday. Uh, Ali, hello beautiful, Alison, Leanne, amazing, Tina. I hope I get through this uh, because my phone is actually on charge uh, and it's really hot, so I'm hoping this uh, doesn't zhuzh out. So, um, the Lion's Gate healing. Lion's Gate is an annual cosmic alignment. Um, it happens, excuse me while I wobble the phone, it happens every single year. Uh, and I'm just really blessed to be here in Egypt for the Lion's Gate healing process. And that uh, is the 28th of July through to the 12th of August. And please say hello, I'll just answer you once I leave the pyramids. I just wanna focus on this for a moment. With the Lion's Gate, it lines with Leo, um, the Earth, uh, Sirius and Orion, and they all align with the Leo connection. As they align, um, this particular energy and the message that I got for all of you, I'm just gonna swap hands, was all about what do you want? This is really important. So I'm gonna give you what the healing was about and um, the messages for all of you. And it's only in this group. It's not going on my personal page and it's not going on my business page. Just for you guys, as I mentioned, this is a place for the healings and the insights. So this Lion's Gate for 2024 is asking, what do you want? You are guided in this time to please meditate. Know what you want. Write it down. Meditate. Visualize. Set clear intentions. Now, what occurred yesterday at the healing processes that I did here was clearing past. Um, and this was a group energy, and it wasn't just done yesterday, my time. It was done to continue through the whole of Lion's Gate uh, for you. So, clear past. What past? Past lies, past being yesterday, past a month ago, past from your childhood, clearing any of those sort of beautiful energies. And again, if you're writing me a message, I can't quite see it at the moment, but I will answer. So please, please connect with me. And I'm doing this specifically under a shade cloth and so that you can see um, the pyramid as well. Um, so this is a new year. That's part of the Lion's Gate is a new year. In numerology, which I don't know a lot about numerology, I know this is to be a powerhouse number and a bridge between the material and spiritual. Um, those with numerology, you guys have got greater knowledge than me. But for me, my sacred geometry numbers, eight, eight, eight. Um, so the eight number is, this is who I am. And when we're clearing the past of things, it's where you've not been the true whole self of you where you fall into the illusions of somebody saying to you, you're not good enough, you're not lovable, etc. Um, so it's clearing all of those stories in the eight, eight. Excuse me. This energy is also, I'm just gonna take it off the people so it's not on them. Um, the energy is also about Mother Earth and how important it is. Now, wherever you are in the world, beautiful Mother Earth gives us so much. Here, it's very arid and sand. Um, I said in my Facebook Live, I remember this all being underwater um, in past lives and things. I remember very much um, all palm trees and beautiful lakes and crops and things like that. So during this time, please connect to Mother Earth, rivers, oceans, sand, earth, sky, um, all, all of it, um, lakes, uh, whatever it is, crops, gardens. If you've got a garden, in your backyard, on your veranda, pot plant, whatever it is. Uh, and that 
this lion's gate, the message is for you, is no matter what life throws for you, because this is a new beginning, a new energy, and I'll talk about the secret codes to manifesting and millennium grid uh, calendar in a moment. It is very much, no matter what life throws at you, to you or for you, because that's really what it is, you have the power in within you to overcome it. So no matter what it is, and as we open that doorway, um, you can overcome it. And the lion's energy, according to medical intuition, because I love animal medical intuition, and I just want to show you, uh, I don't know whether you guys can see, look at these beautiful camels here. Um, I was able to do some healing on some of them about an hour and a half ago. Um, the lion's energy, according to medical intuition, um, is about strength and courage. Now, the word courage, C-O-U-R, is actually a good word, uh, which means of heart. Come of heart and you will have the strength. When you drop into your heart, so anytime there's been something that's really broken my heart, um, part of me's gone, we need to fix that. And that's when I wrote the Millennium Children book, um, the Empowering Millennium Children book, the Coloring In, Sacred Geometry Coloring In book. I needed to make a difference in the schools and things and was able to travel around the world making differences in the schools. So still today, feeding some of the kids here in Egypt. It's like my passion, it's like something broke my heart. Go and change it. Go make the difference. It's really important. So no matter what life throws you at this moment, um, you have the power to overcome it. Um, this Lion's Gate is just telling you that. It's, or it's just when we're in it, we feel like we can't get through it. And then the Lion Energy, again according to medical intuition, brings that sense of confidence, that natural leader that you all are. A bit of music on the background. Um, focus that you can achieve. Um, look towards your goals. What are your goals? Now, for me, when you tune into the pyramids of the sacred geometry, um, it's not about teams and whatever else. These are divine portals of energy and frequency and very much galactic energy. So I decided to sit here underneath the shade cloth to do this um, for you. So a little bit more. This was about a cleaning out of this year is cleaning out now the year doesn't ever ever for me start on the first of january it always starts the first of july for me and with this lion's gate energy it's a new year be clear on what you want ask the universe now what was really really big um the sphinx is just further down the road here as i was walking past the sphinx on the way in to do the healing process yesterday um the one thing that i got message wise was you guys are asking what you want and so I really sat with it because I wrote notes after the healing yesterday of to be able to deliver it to you guys um, when I sat down I went okay Sphinx Pyramids energy here I don't know what to what to me what are, what's the message that I give to everybody because I'm not sure what I'm clearing I'm clearing these old things but what is that and the message I got was you guys aren't asking the universe directly what you want but please don't rely on when you were a kid, you asked for something and you didn't get it, because that's a whole paradigm. Right now, with the Lion's Gate, it's saying, and then when you've got all these beautiful sacred um, shapes and things around you, it's like, what do you want? Or animals, like every single animal um, has a healing process. Like the beautiful camel, it's on the keep on going. So, what do you want is really, really important for this Lion's Gate. What do you want um, and write it down what is it you want ask if you want to make money ask those that have done the millennium calendar with me it's why why do you want the money it's great to have money but why do you want it if you think it's just for freedom it doesn't give you freedom why do you want it for me i want money because it allows me to be able to do healing processes being able to do healings on animals and the camels and dogs today um, so Ask the universe for what you want. It's just so, so, so important. So they're the key things that came up from the healing yesterday. Um, and it was actually quite emotional as I did this process for everyone. And the message I got was it wasn't just the time that I was here. It's going to continue the whole time of that Lions Gate to the 12th of August. So if you put your name down and think, oh, I missed it, they haven't. Because it's only in our 3D paradigm that we think there's a time zone. 
Not really. What time is that? <laughs> it's always, always energetic time. So, uh, they're the messages and if you've got other questions, please put them in the chat and then I can answer them in the comments. Uh, but yeah, the energy yesterday was quite intense. So today I've come up through, I just needed to um, check in, see if there's any other messages here today. So I've come um, quite a few times through it and the permit by myself. It's extremely hot, uh, but I wanted to make sure that I do this for you. I would never bring people here this time of year. It's just way, way too hot. I love the heat, so it's good for me. Uh, but the messages, especially even from the camels and I'll, I'll pop some photos on. Or some dogs. I did some healing on some dogs, um, and as soon as I did, they just went to sleep. Um, so amazing, they actually come up. So, questions, pop them down below. Let me know. Um, and this is all part of Mystery School, all Ancient Wisdom. And remember, when you come, the group that are coming, uh, we're already booked out for 2024 in September. Here, we're coming here and here. And for those that are interested in 2025, um, we're just doing the last two weeks of the itinerary uh, for um, next year. Please know that whatever journey you come with me, whatever year I've had to come with me uh, twice last year, it's the perfect journey for a turn to self. You will never miss out. You will get the healing and activations that you need. And it is not a tour, not a tour guide. It is a spiritual, very VIP, sacred journey because we have private access here private access to the Sphinx and some special tunnels and things at Dendara, um, at uh, the Symporium, etc. Um, and the healings and things are very, very huge. So guys, please put your messages here because I can't see them because of the shade and things. Um, and again, my camera's saying it's hot. It's just hot um, being here, so my camera is just hot um, um, it's just really special so as i said i've just been sitting here by myself for an hour between this pyramid and this pyramid and you won't be able to see the shade called just being aligned in all directions of this um, belt um, so that's a summary of the healing of the lion's gate i hope it was helpful for you all you are still included with this healing process. We're just going to continue to all the 12th of August. Um, and so, as some of you know, I had to have my two-day recalibration because that's what I was doing. Recalibration for you all. Uh, recalibration was two, bit, two days in bed uh, just so that I would stop because I don't have to stop. Stop and let it happen for me. And then I could get out and uh, do it for you guys. So, Thank you, thank you, thank you from my heart for allowing me to do this for, for you. When I come here, I do it for all of us as a community. Um, I have a great love of Egypt, it's very much home for me, uh, very, very much. And uh, let's see what other animals I can do some killing on. And a um, couple of questions down below if you've got them. Uh, and doing the questions there allows me to share with everyone. If you do it in private message, and nobody can see and also my team is answering my private messages at the moment because I'm on holiday slash uh, doing killings on animals and children. Love to you.